We go like, God, don't you hear me? You go like, yeah, you ain't had enough crap yet. I'm ready to get you. I'm irritate you. Let them get you hurting. Every the more they do, the madder I'm getting. Let me get really mad. Go read the Old Testament. See how mad I can get. No big deal for me to just tear bodies apart and throw peaches all over. You want me to get upset because they scratched your finger? Let them pour it all out. And then let me chop their head off. I'll just snap their neck off. Throw them on a pile of life. You're mine. Trust me. Trust me. Hey there. Welcome. My name is Alonda Carter. I am the Recovering Hunbot. Today, we're going to dive into the world of the grandfather of multi-level marketing and top Amway distributor, Dexter Yeager. To support my channel, I just ask that you watch this video to the end and give it a thumbs up. If you have time, please leave a comment so that more people have a chance to view the video. And now let's get to the topic at hand. Leonard and Gertrude Yeager welcomed their son, Dexter Royal Yeager, into the world on December 6th of 1939. Dexter was born in Fulton, New York. His family moved to Rome, New York when he was young. In 1949, at six years old, Dexter sold soda pop. He bought the bottles for five cents, then sold them to construction workers for 10 cents. As a boy, Dexter attended Laurel Street School, which is now called Stroud Middle School. He graduated from Rome Free Academy in 1957. School, though, was never Dexter's thing. That same year after he graduated, at the age of 17, he married Bertie. The young couple had a modest life. Dexter worked in sales for Sears, Maxwell Ford, and the Utica Club. When he worked at Maxwell Ford, the couple lived in a room above the used car lot office. Bertie did data entry at Griss's Air Force Base. The couple had seven children. During the early years of marriage, the couple never dreamed that one day they would be worth millions and that Dexter would become a legend in the multi-level marketing industry. In 1964, a relative pitched Amway to 25-year-old Dexter. Amway had been founded a few years earlier in 1959 by Jay Van Andel and Richard DeVos. The story goes, Dexter was hooked and Amway became his top priority. He ate, slept, and breathed the Amway business seven days a week. He was not selling Amway products at the time, not really. He sold the idea of the plan, AKA Amway's blueprint for success. Jaeger showed the plan to people almost every single night. In so doing, Jaeger grew a distributor base in Charlotte, North Carolina. In 1969, he picked up his family and moved from Rome to Charlotte. He bought a Winnebago and on weekends, he, his wife Bertie and their children would pile in and head out to Amway rallies. Over the years, Dexter's Amway organization grew into millions and includes at least two Hall of Fame distributors, the late Bill Britt and former Miami Dolphins football player, Tim Foley. According to the website Business for Home, Yeager is the top earner of all time, with lifetime earnings being approximately $460 million. In the early 1970s, Yeager is said to have read motivational books and listen to motivational tapes. However, it is rather ironic that for the first three years, Jaeger never read a positive book or listened to a tape. Allegedly, after he started getting into motivational material, Jaeger came to believe there was a need for a training system that would help his Amway downline. Eventually, Jaeger began to write his own books and record his speeches. Internet Services was officially founded in 1979. It was originally called Freedom Distribution. Jaeger was the first Amway distributor who created his own system. Jaeger's Internet Services was the first Amway Motivational Organization, or AMO. Jaeger's 365,000 square foot facility is located at 1300 Altura Road, Fort Mill, South Carolina, and includes office and warehouse space. 
In 2013, there were approximately 50 AMOs. Most were founded by someone who was part of Dexter's downline. Dexter developed tools in the form of educational support materials, which now comprise of books, audio, CDs, videos, DVDs, pamphlets, brochures, periodicals, and websites that are said to be critical to achieve success for Amway's independent business owners or IBOs. Amway adherents believe the various tools are necessary if you are going to succeed as a member of Amway. However, many people who joined Amway and left see it differently. Some claim Jaeger's system has a psychological impact that keep people believing success is around the corner, even when whatever results that they have are very poor. People become obsessed with achieving, but themselves have nothing to show for it. You are always missing a critical piece of the success puzzle, and thus you continue to buy the various business support materials. Leaders in Jaeger's network claim that the motivational material builds confidence in new recruits. Amway distributors are taught to be their own best customer. In other words, buy Amway products. Although Amway may not say there is a minimum sales requirement, uplines may often pressure their downlines to reach certain sales levels because the associated bonuses and rank advancements are tied to what they buy and sell. Over the years, Jaeger accumulated a fleet of cars, several boats, a jet, several homes, around 540 acres in South Carolina's Mecklenburg and York counties. Additionally, he was involved in a number of real estate ventures. At one point, Jaeger was involved in a hotel located in Ohio, a bank, a travel agency, a resort, and a chain of shops. It is said that Jaeger was deeply religious and very open about his Christian beliefs. According to Brig Hart, a former Amway distributor who was part of the Jaeger downline and sued Amway in 1997, Jaeger rallies included an optional religious service. Rich DeVos, who was raised in the Protestant Reformed Church, cautioned top Amway distributors from using Amway meetings to profess their faith. So it seems Jaeger, including these optional religious services, went directly against what DeVos professed. In time, Jaeger ran a children's Christian camp for his top distributors. He also donated proceeds from an early book to the Praise the Lord Network, also known as The Jim and Tammy Show. Jim and Tammy Faye Baker were televangelists who had a ministry with the Assemblies of God before they joined Pat Robinson's Christian Broadcasting Network. Their TV show ran from 1974 to 1989. The Jaegers and Bakers became friends and Jim became an influential Amway recruiter and promoter. According to the late former Pennsylvanian Amway distributor, Fred Hartis, a strong faith and belief in God and the principles of our founding fathers is, along with following your dream and supporting your associates, a tenant of the Jaeger system. The Jaeger system involves attending business meetings regularly, reading positive books systematically, and listening to instructional tapes. Jaeger often repeated this mantra, when the dream is big enough, the facts don't count. According to a former member of the Jaeger group, the dream was defined by the Jaeger system and their upline, which could not just be freedom or family time. Rather, it had to be tangible so that they could experience what is out there and know why they are working so hard as an Amway distributor. Jaeger's brand of religion has been called Prosperity Theology, also known as Prosperity Gospel. Prosperity gospel is a religious belief that financial blessings and physical well-being are the will of God according to some Protestant Christians. Furthermore, faith, positive speech, and donations to religious causes will increase one's material wealth. Both material and financial success are viewed as a sign of divine favor. The prosperity gospel has its roots in the New Thought movement, which can be traced to a mentalist and mesmerist by the name of Phineas Quinby. 
He taught that all illnesses were from someone's mistaken beliefs. His most widely known disciple is Mary Eddy Baker, who created the religious denomination Christian Science. The belief system is closely related to the law of attraction. The law of attraction is the belief that positive thoughts bring positive results and negative thoughts create negative outcomes. One of the most popular books in the MLM industry is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, which was originally published in 1937. This book is a mainstay in the world of multi-level marketing. Hill examines the power of thought and its connection to the universe. Overall, the message is, if you visualize what you want and focus on what you want, then it will be delivered to you. There are many people who have careers that push this belief, including Louise Hay, Jim Rohn, Deepak Chopra, Esther or Abraham Hicks, Bob Proctor, and many lesser known names, some of which build themselves as some sort of a coach. For instance, Amanda Francis bills herself as the money manifestation queen. The positive thinking ideology, coupled with the belief that the financial blessings are given to people by God, permeates all MLMs and their so-called leaders like Jaeger. In 1995, Jaeger, along with other Amway Diamond distributors, Jim Doran, Bill Britt, Jim Jans, Ron Poirier, Don Wilson, and one of the Amway founders, Richard DeVos, were on the board of directors for Gospel Films. Gospel Films is a nonprofit organization that produces and distributes evangelical films, videos, and software. Billy C. Oley, president of Gospel Films at this time, was an evangelical speaker who served as the White House chaplain to President Ford. It is thought that Z. Oley was a paid speaker at Amway events. In the United States during the 1970s and 80s, the prosperity gospel spread through evangelical churches, mainly through televangelists including Jim and Tammy Baker, Jimmy Swaggart, and Benny Hinn. Their teachings included that divine healing and prosperity are guaranteed in exchange for monetary donations. When it comes to MLM and these motivational organizations connected to Amway, it can be argued that the payment for various business support materials is the donation and the intent is to then receive financial gain by continuing to believe success is around the corner. All you have to do is continue to improve your mindset so that you receive financial blessings. In Rich DeVos' book, Compassionate Capitalism, which hinges on the theme of people helping people and rag to rich stories, there are messages of God, free enterprise, family, patriotism, freedom, wealth, and endless opportunity, all which attracted a loyal following of conservative Christians. Over the years, Amway has been involved in many lawsuits and oftentimes reached settlements, thus no courtroom was ever involved. Top distributors have been named in some of these suits, including Dexter Yeager. Some of the suits include the Hayden lawsuit, the Brick lawsuit, the Hanneran lawsuit, and the Procter Gamble lawsuit. The details about these suits are out of scope for this video. However, you can easily find information about them online. One suit against Yeager involved sexual harassment, which was filed in Kent County, Michigan. The official court complaint states, Mr. Yeager intentionally, unlawfully, and repeatedly touched this innocent young Amway employee in a sexually suggestive manner, including fondling her neck and pinching her in the genital area. Subsequently, the young woman who filed the lawsuit lost her job. The suit was settled out of court and most likely the young woman was compensated to keep quiet. Amway and Yeager both had deep pockets. Since this did not go to trial, we will never know how pervasive this behavior may have been. But if you consider the recent Me Too movement, there could be other victims, both of Yeager's and associated with Amway. Wealth and power has a way of corrupting people and misdeeds are swept under the rug. Although Amway will say all views are accepted in their organization, those who have studied Amway have found the distributor leadership members to be entirely Republican. When joining Amway, you are either Republican Christian or you would become one if you remained involved with Amway. 
In the 1990s, Amway was a major contributor to the Republican Party. Sue Mayrick joined Amway in 1992. In 1994, she ran for Congress. Yeager helped raise over $200,000 for her campaign. He used the Amway voicemail system to get distributors to contribute to Merrick's campaign fund. Amway leaders are known to muster Amway distributors at the various live events in their motivational audio messages into a strong political force. However, using the Amway voicemail system may be considered a violation of federal election laws. The use of corporate resources for a federal campaign is illegal. Messages from Yeagers lean towards helping people how to think. One message Yeager forwarded to the Amway distributors in his downlane was leaked to Mother Jones and said, if you analyze Bill Clinton's entire inaugural address, it is nothing but a new age pagan ritual. If you go back and look at how it was arranged and how it was orchestrated, he talked about forcing the spring. So what they're trying to do is force the emergence of deviant lifestyles of a socialist agenda and force that on us as American people. Merrick served as a U.S. representative for North Carolina's 9th District from 1995 to 2013 and was known as one of the most conservative members of the House of Representatives. Merrick regularly appeared as a speaker at Amway events and her speeches were on audio tapes that were sold. Yeager also helped a handful of other Republican candidates, including Mitt Romney of Massachusetts, and arranged for notables like George Bush to speak at Amway rallies. You can find some information about joining the Yeager Group at ibocity.com. To join the Yeager Group, you are told to have your IBO number and member registration number, Amway registration date, sponsor's IBO number, valid form of payment including Visa or MasterCard, contact information including your email address and address. To begin the registration process, you need to enter your IBO number and your sponsor's IBO number and then select your Amway home market. The cost to become a member though is not public facing. Being a member of the Jaeger Group gives you access to events, business support materials, and website services. The key word is access. However, being an active member grants you the ability to purchase business support material, software services, and weekend conferences. The Jaeger Group's business reference guide, though, does not define what it means to be active. My guess is you need to have paid either your annual or monthly fee. It appears just joining gives you the ability to spend more money to buy their various products, which are supposed to help you have a successful Amway business. It makes me think if being an Amway distributor is so great and if Amway provides you with training materials, why do you need an external group and to pay to be part of it? According to the website Merchants of Deception, the Jaegers would speak to around 5,000 of Hardis's downline during live seminars. Often Jaeger spoke well past midnight. Those who join Amway may begin to have an unusual relationship with their upline, so it is said. At least two leaders have stated publicly their willingness to die for their upline. Overall, there is an expectation for members to have unquestioning faith and be totally devoted without exception. There is no better example of the fervor in which Yeager spoke than the man himself. Here are a few excerpts that illustrate his messaging. I understand what it's like to be Christ and look all around amongst the disciples. Don't be a Judas. Don't be a doubting Thomas. I know what it's like to be Moses. You know, you're going to have to learn to be quick thinkers. You're going to have to tell people, you're going to have things like the internet coming out all the time with all this crap. You know, like one guy is loading all this crap on the internet. He's got such a hate for Amway and somebody that he wants to destroy it. God does not deal with hate in his heart. So that's not God's man. Now, if you're a Christian, you better understand that. And I'll tell you something. 
when push comes to shove and I get with that guy in that situation, I can look him right in the eye. And until you can look people in the eye and say, we are right. We love you. You have the right to be stupid. It's your life. I'll hurt over you because I love you. But you're making a decision that will affect you and the future generations of your family. If you leave, you won't be back. My door will be open. Probably your pride will keep you away. Or they'll have spent all your energy. You can't afford this decision. But if you do it, I love you. But if you do it, you're no longer welcome here. I don't let the disloyal come here. If you're going to be a competitor, you have told me you're the materialistic one. I brought you into my family. And now you'd like to come rape my family? I'm not going to let it happen. Remember, you're walking away from all your friends. If they've conjured that well, and I can't convince you otherwise, you don't ever have to say you're sorry. The world will know it. I'm not sorry in the apology way. You leave, you're just sorry. I think you're more guy than that. I know you're more man than that. Don't prove me wrong. I'm not going to beat him up. I'm going to tear his stupid heart out. You're not going to destroy yourself. I don't let you commit suicide easy. But if you're going to be damned, it's your choice. I love you in your sickness. But when you walk out that door, it's over. History is going to be funny to a lot of people. Some of you want to punch some guy's lights out for all they've hurt you. I've had people that hated me. They hated me so bad. They tried to destroy me in so many ways that I've seen them die a cancer death. I had one woman in her last six months of life come to me and she said, Dexter, I hated you so bad. Only to find out when I was dying, you're the one that kept coming to me with love. I hated the wrong person, but I know I'm dying a death because of my hate. It's not your fault, it's mine. I chose not to know you. I chose to destroy you. And I got me by mistake. Oh, I prayed and prayed and Bernie and I prayed for that girl. I've had other people. I'm going to tell you something. Based upon what I've learned from my life, the ones of us that accept Christ and we carry the banner of Amway and we go with it, we're the Christian soldiers marching us to war. We're the anointed. Read the 91st Psalm. If you do nothing else, you read the 91st Psalm. You'll understand every one of the guys that got up and gave the part of the story he, he or she did not want to give. We're the Christian soldiers. We're standing under the 91st Psalm. Read that 91st Psalm. I don't care what type Bible you read it in. Read it. Your God's anointed. Your God's anointed. When your God's anointed, that 91st Psalm applies to you. People will die on the left and they'll die on the right and you can walk on a snake's head and you don't do it on purpose, it just happens. And the lion goes, ah! Something got him. I have watched my enemies attack me and lose all they have financially. 
I've seen neighbors decide to go do me in. We had two couples live next to us. They decided they were going to destroy us. They had made everybody that bought that house that we lived in leave. They were the mayor of the street. They'd driven everybody away. Two years after, they came against us with everything they had. All four of them were dead. Dexter Yeager passed away on January 6th of 2019 at the age of 79. His survivors include his wife, Bertie, their seven children, 27 grandchildren, 19 great-grandchildren, his brother, Richard, and sister, Lillian. Although Dexter may be gone, his motivational organization is still going strong. Dexter wanted those who joined his downline to follow his lead. We've got to keep them looking at houses, boats, planes, cars, vans, coaches, expanding and stimulating and fertilizing that powerful brain that God gave every one of them until they believe they deserve more and they will go after it and they will get it. One thing that tends to happen when people who join MLM is they lose relationships with friends and family. For Dexter, who embraced his Amway family, he lost his relationship with two siblings who say Dexter was driven by money and changed for the worse after joining Amway. I think it comes down to money and greed. Since so much of being in an MLM depends on you maintaining the belief that you succeed as long as you have the right mindset and never give up, all motivational personal development material offered by the Amway motivational organizations like Jaegers are a way to perpetuate this ideology and keep people spending money, not only to be part of Amway, but to fuel the lifestyles of those high-ranking Amway distributors who created these organizations. What are your thoughts and opinions about Jaeger and his motivational organization? Let me know below. Thanks so much for watching. Stay vigilant out there. And don't forget, you're beautiful and I love you. Mm -hmm.